Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I will show you what Afrika Koa Captain Wilhelm looks like outside of the box and where the remaining accessories from the set were used. This is currently the look I decided on for this figure after it was taken out of the box. You saw the video where it was taken out of the box, right? If not, see the link in the description. The figure allows for several configurations and comes with all the accessories that allow me to configure it as I like. I like to use accessories left over from other figures, which allows me to update them and make them look better. This is the suggested configuration I have adopted for now. You must be wondering who are those assholes in the back and what are they doing here. But I explain this later in this video. All accessories used on him and the uniform are original to this figure. The binoculars in his right hand, the compass in his left hand, the real leather pistol holder with the P38 pistol in sight. The tunic appears to be an abnormal green, but it is otherwise. It is a real color used in Afrika Koa. It's kind of a stereotype to think that the tropical uniforms worn by the Afrika Koa in North Africa were all sand colored. It wasn't quite like that. As far as I know the Afrika Koa uniform was originally an olive green color, allegedly due to misconceptions at the Tropical Institute of Hamburg, where it was developed, regarding the amount of vegetation in the typical North African landscape. He has long tropical boots. They are classic boots that were used by the Afrika Koa during the campaign in North Africa. Those mini boots are made of real leather and canvas and have real laces. They are close to perfection. It also has a real leather map case and a coconut-shaped canteen, both of which are perfectly functional. Let's see the accessories in detail outside the figure. This compass is very perfect, as it should be. The binoculars are of high quality at this scale. I'm having trouble focusing the binoculars, but here's an image of what they look like. His insignias and decorations include the German-Italian medal, also known as the Afrika Kor medal, the tropical breast eagle, the first-class iron cross and the assault badge, and let's see the guy's head sculpt. It's very realistic. If you've seen my other videos that show old figures, you can see that this is a big evolution. They become more and more realistic over time. This head sculpt seems to be based on the actor Michael Byrne. It's really very similar. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Its collar tabs are made of metal and are applied like a sticker. They are excellent. The shoulder boards are perfect, but you need to apply the small shoulder tabs insignias. I still don't understand how to apply them correctly, it looks easy in the DID video, but without gluing them I don't know how to do ET gluing can result in disaster for shoulder boards. Do you have any tips? The Africa Corps officer's ski cap is excellent, but I personally don't like the stickers. As you can see, when I removed my sunglasses, part of the sticker came off and I had to replace it. The sunglasses or goggles are made of real leather with an elastic strap. I don't like elastic straps, but this one is excellent. Look how it looks compared to an old one from the BBI brand. And so he will remain as he is with my top Afrika Corps officers. As shown on the box, this set, in addition to the figure, includes many accessories that I haven't shown yet. Quickly, an extra pair of malleable hands that can be used to wear gloves or use the included ring, a high-quality scarf similar to the one on the guy on the back left, an extra metal MP40 ammunition clip, 9mm ammunition to be used in the clip which is functional, a map of the desert campaign, an extra breast eagle, a bag of silica gel, a ring to be worn on one of the malleable hands, two pencils, a cigarette, and those small metal pieces that I still don't know how to use them on shoulder boards. It also includes a magnificent tropical motorcyclist waterproof cotton coat, very similar to the one I already have in use on another figure. Now that the video is getting too long, I'll quickly show where the accessories that I didn't use on this figure were used. That's why the assholes in the back have purpose in this video. The magnificent machine gun made of metal was used on Johans and the Y-straps too. If you don't know Johans, the link to his video is in the description. The gloves were used on Uncle Adolf, which has since been changed in relation to his video. 
Adolf's video is in the description. The MPE-40 ammo pouches were used on Charles Black, which also has a video and the link is in the description. Some information was ignored so the video wouldn't be too long. If you have any questions or doubts, please comment.